Hi, welcome. We are making some ISOs for the release in mid-October and there is a new desktop around. HLWM stands for Herbstluftwm. So it's a kind of German name, Herbstluft. And when we press, I've set everything up um, the way I like it, uh, meaning that we go after clean installation, what I'll do is I'll go and have um, my scripts. I get my scripts and it's called, it's, you can find it on articlelinux.com. Hola, where am I typing? So article get started is what I call it. Number one, version one. And if you use this URL, you can use it as well. It contains a lot of scripts and these scripts will all be uh, executed by me. So super, maybe I should start using screen key. Screen key. So you see what I'm pressing. This is a tiling window manager. Of course, you, you already had that reflex. It's uh, going to be like i3 Qtile, like um, BSPWM, like awesome. Uh, did I forget one? Xmonad. So yeah, it's uh, all about keyboard shortcuts. So that's why I'm gonna press this, this use this screen key. So you need to know what I'm doing. And you see that these guys are dividing themselves up and with a super space bar, you can switch them around. Super space bar is, and let's take a third one. Then you see the difference. Like this, you can just switch them around. Okay. And a super Q or a super shift Q is gonna delete everything. Super shift return. These keyboard shortcuts should be known to you. It's in Openbox, XNFC, uh, Plasma, and so on. We keep the same keyboard shortcuts in 15 desktops. That's anyway the, the intention. So if we do forget one, just tell us. So we get this um, overview video. This is just a um, sneak preview, a teaser video. I'm not gonna teach anything, just showing my way around in this system. And we have these uh, workspaces called tags and my browser is here available. Everything is in here. I can have a look and go for, uh, well, my work, let's say. And number two, tag two, three, we can add something like Vivaldi in here and uh, Vivaldi is loaded up. And here we can open Super F4 maybe. And we open up GIMP in that particular tag or workspace. And everything can be also programmed if you want to always to open up GIMP in four by default, even though you're on seven at that point in time, you can set it that it opens there. It's just a question of a rule to add. So we have um, everything available. This is polybar up here. We can change polybar any way you see fit. We can, you just go to um, the website Linux mm, thinking I think dot com because there are two Arc Linux and Arc Linux D it depends so you take a look where the information is it's gonna take a while so a lot of information polybar how do you develop polybar tools how to make polybar transparent all modules that are available for polybar any desktop so the system, the polybar is, is now really evolved and lots and lots of modules and I still have one to do for, um, for somebody. But I mean, it's, it's gonna go, it will grow and will be more and more um, complete this polybar way to use tiling window manager, for, for example. You can use it in any of the tiling window managers. What else to say? I mean, you have this uh, help in, in the beginning. Um, people often take a look at memory and all that stuff. But you know, I have two browsers open with 17 tabs. I really don't care because I have 16 gigabyte. But of course, if you're an older machine, well, you best open one browser with one tab. But um, for the rest, it it's, um, feels fast. It feels okay. I mean, it's a tiling window manager. It doesn't really consume a lot just like the others it's um, keyboard driven and it's fast and, and well rather low in consumption not that, that I'm comparing anything um, 
what else is there to be said we have of course packages so control h our configuration is in here in the herbst luft wm here it is so we can put this guy here and the other one that's important is that guy so we've opted to put our keyboard shortcuts in here which means of course that we can reuse them on any of the future tiling window managers so everything is set the only difference that's that's in here is the specific desktop specific stuff um, that we can put in there then so thinking about the future already there are other tiling window managers that still need to be covered so we have now 15 um, 15 desktops and I'm gonna kill my conky KC kill the conky remember we have lots of aliases go and have a look they keep growing every uh, year let's say because uh, well Arctic Linux is now two years old um, so we actually should be celebrating but it doesn't really matter we just keep working month by month and we have the so this new Herbsluft WM thing that you can try out and that's the name here Herbsluft WM and of course you can have a look well the tutorials will follow uh, shortly but um, you can have a look at this already oh my god okay this one yes it's also possible to do it in dual screen that's um, taken care of I have a dual screen I rather have it um, that way but I'm recording of course now for you guys on one screen here are some screenshots um, this is the headquarters let's say of Herbs Luft WM and uh, we can have some images and you can have a look around what people have created so it's all about again creativity of course change colors change things and it's um, a tiling window manager you can try out okay i guess that's it for me um you can build it article links b and you can have an article links d so both of them are there there's the this one let's go for Herbst. so you can go for the article links d iso and build your way up with scripts and just omit delete change whatever you want to change the the idea is that you change it and the same actually goes for herbs Luft wm there's also a minimal one you can change as well what you want to have on the system if you say i don't want those packages i want these packages it's in here just put a hashtag in front of it it's not installed as simple as that so if you don't want stuff also for the technical things maybe some um, drivers you do need on your system you do not want bluetooth and so on and so on put hashtags in there build it it's yours it's your iso your personal one so that's that for me um like i said give me some time for several weeks maybe and then we'll see if we can make some tutorials all right cheers